Hey y'all, what is up? It is Red, back to give another video. So today y'all is going to be a little story time, like usual. This story time is going to be about my old, old, old best friend. Okay, now I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory on my old best friend, okay? Her name was Lala. She was cool as hell, not gonna lie, but she was just, eh. Like, it was just a lot of, eh. Basically, this is just like a fake friend type of story time. I've been friends with her since kindergarten. Me and her were cool. Eventually, after about kindergarten, we developed a deeper type of friendship and our parents did too. Now, to this day, our parents don't talk to each other anymore, but our parents were used to talk to each other a lot, like fifth grade up until high school and stuff like that. So all in middle school and in high school, uh, my parents set up a buddy system for us. To where we go to each other's houses before school and after school like our parents take turn picking us up dropping us off picking us up dropping us off because our parents didn't want us to walk to school by ourselves or for us to be to ourselves by ourselves a lot and shit like that so my parents would sometimes take us to school sometimes her parents would take us to school sometimes her parents would drop her off to where we could walk to school because her parents work really really early in the morning like her parents were working like 5 a.m so like in middle school, our middle school did not start until about 8.45. So her parents would drop her off at like 6.30 at my house. So we would wait till about eight o'clock and then start walking to school. And it would be like reversed, you know, sometimes our parents wouldn't make it home until like 7 p.m. So we would walk to her house or we'd walk to my house and just sit there and wait for one of our parents to pick us up and shit like that. Or we would just be chilling. So that was really how it was, it was buddy system and stuff. So a lot of the times, like I never really walked to school by myself. I never came home from school by myself. I always had a buddy, whether it was her or like I said in my other story time, I had another best friend I used to walk to school with too as well. But I didn't walk with her every day. It was just every so often. But this girl, she was cool as hell. She was Latino, uh, she was a Leo. She was cool as fuck. Like I said, we just had a cool vibe. It was like very cool, goofy around each other and shit. We got old videos of each, of each other, like doing skits and music videos and stuff like that, which you guys will see later on in my channel. I'm gonna do a reaction video to all my old YouTube videos because I have a bunch of them. Around elementary school, our friendship was cool. You feel me? In high middle school, our friendship was cool. Once we hit about eighth grade, that's when our friendship started to get a little bit rocky. I'd say seventh, eighth grade, ninth grade, and stuff like that because um, that's when I started getting attention and shit like that. I'm not gonna say she's ugly. She was not ugly. Um, she just was a very shy, reserved female. Like she was not the type of female to talk. And if people were to talk to her, she would kind of be mute. So she's only. She was like, like people be thinking they introverts. No, no, baby, you ain't her. You ain't never been around no fucking introvert for real. Introverts, certain introverts, they will not reply back to you. Like you talk to them, they're gonna talk to you in dry ass responses, you know. So if people was trying to have full on blown conversations for her. She'd be like, yeah, no, okay, mm, yeah, like just dry as hell. Like she just never wanted to communicate with people she never wanted to you know keep a conversation going she never talked to nobody first she was always a quiet person like she legit barely had friends like i think she only had like one or two other friends um people just wasn't interested in in fucking with her and you know i'm the type of person where if you guys have not noticed about my channel i love quiet people i love loners i love the black sheep i don't like people that are super loud i don't like people that's super out there i don't like people after to me that makes me feel like you want attention you see what I'm saying? I don't like people that's overly confident. I don't like people that like attention because it's just it's just a strong turnoff for me. It's like, ugh, ugh. I like people that don't like attention. I like people that can be themselves, but not overly doing it, if that makes sense. Not trying to be something that they not, you know, and that don't seem like they cracked out when you around them or you feel me? Just like super ratchet or super like there's a time and a place for certain things and people don't realize that in life. You know, it's all about your maturity levels. I have to be around somebody that I, I'm not embarrassed to be around. You know what I'm saying? Or like that's not going to annoy me because you doing too much. So she was just a cool person. Like I said, I personally already knew her. So I kind of already knew what she was. And people would come to me and tell me like what's wrong with her. You know, because I would keep her around while I'm hanging out with my friends. Like, I had big friend groups and stuff like that in high school. Little did y'all know, I was very known in high school, both of the high schools I went to. So, I would always be in groups of people. I would always be around somebody or a bunch of people. So, I would always introduce them to her and stuff like that. And I would be like, yeah, you got to talk to her. You know, you got, you're going to have to be around her. Like, my friends knew that automatically you're going to have to be around her. So, 
they would be sitting over here trying to make conversation with her and she would just be quiet. She would just be mute. And sometimes she wouldn't even reply to you. She would just look at you when you say something to her. So people would be like, oh, she's weird. Like, how do you keep her around? And I was like, she don't act like that with me. She's talkative as fuck with me. Like, you feel me? So I didn't really have a problem with it, honestly. But it was a lot of people coming at me. So, like, it just gets annoying. If you're one of the people that where you're kind of more of an outgoing friend and you got like a more antisocial friend, a lot of people will come to you uh, telling you that the person is weird, something's off with them, um, why they don't want to talk, this, that, and third. So I was always taking up for her, you feel me? Because I understood. Some people are not like y'all, and you can't sit here and force somebody to be like you just because you're an outgoing person, just because you love to talk or you love to dance, you love to sing, you love to be all the way out there. You can't force somebody to do that. And just because they don't do that doesn't mean they don't love themselves. It doesn't mean they're not confident. That just means they probably are just naturally like that. Some people are naturally introverts where they just don't want to talk to people or they don't know how to talk to people. You feel me? So people's communication styles is different. You can't force that upon somebody. You can't sit here and judge somebody just because of that. You know what I'm saying? Like at least get to know them first, then judge the person. Cause you can't judge a person just by you having a one minute conversation with them. Come on now. That's, that's why I don't like how society is nowadays. People judge too fucking fast. Sorry, y'all. I just got a text message. But anyways, so she was just, like, overall, like I said, she was a cool person to me. Like, me and her had similar interests. She was funny as hell, stuff like that. And then once, like I say, eighth grade and ninth grade happened, um, that's when she started to become jealous of me. So she would just start talking shit. Like, she was, me and her was having arguments with each other all the fucking time. Like, all the fucking time. Because she would always try to talk shit about me. And it would be like, I don't know why people want to talk to you. I don't know why people like you. Like, you're you're not that pretty. You know, you got a gap. Like, I'm surprised people actually want to talk to you. Like, why don't nobody want to talk to me? Like, she would always be like that. Like, she was just a... She started turning jealous, I guess. Because people wanted to talk to me before they wanted to talk to her. You know, people... Guys were coming after me before they was coming after her. You know? And... She would just constantly ask me like questions like that and she would just be like and she would just randomly say that she like we would come home from school and she would be like i don't know why people just like like talking to you and i was like because like i'm just a chill person if people want to talk to me they just want to talk to me i'm friendly okay now don't get me wrong i am antisocial. i'm the type of person though where if you talk to me i'm gonna talk to you back okay but if i don't know you like that you're not gonna get the full version of me of course not but you will definitely get a response. You will definitely get, you know, some type of attention from me. Because I'm not rude like that. I'm a very nice person. So, I'm a little bit different. I look at that as rude. So, I don't know. Like I said, people are different. So, she would just constantly ask me questions. She would constantly make statements, like random statements. Like, you're ugly. Uh, I don't see why people like you. Like, you're super skinny. You ain't got nothing that these dudes want. Like, she was just trying to get in, get on my ass about my looks all the time. Like, and it was an everyday type of thing. You feel me? It was like almost every single day she would bring up the fact that I'm ugly, um, bring up the fact that I'm skinny, bring up the fact that I can't dress. Uh, you know, like even my came down to my hair, like she would be like, your hair is not always done. Like you don't be wearing makeup. I don't know why these people want to talk to you. Like you're not even that funny, this, that, and the third. So me and her would just have arguments back and forth because I would go to fuck off on her. I'd be like, but you're skinny too. I'd be like, people want to talk to me because I'm not born like you. So... If you guys understand the dynamic of fire signs, if you're a fire sign watching this, you understand. If you know stuff about fire signs or zodiac chart, if you don't, then oh fucking well, whoop de doo. But like Aries and Leos, well, I'm not even gonna say that. Fire signs, we can go, we can go toe to toe with each other. That's like the only signs that like we can talk shit to and then laugh afterwards. So it wasn't like hate like that. If that makes sense, I wasn't taking what she was saying as hate. I was taking it as she was jealous insecure had animosity for no reason like that's all it was so she wanted what i had basically she wanted the, the type of energy that i give off or the type of energy i was receiving she wanted that so i could understand from a certain extent you know but that has nothing to do with me that's internal problems that got, you got to deal with boo boo her distancing myself from her like i would i would still like you know hang out with her every day of course because like i said the buddy system but I wouldn't talk to her like that. Like, I stopped eating lunch with her. I stopped inviting her with my friends and stuff like that. Because you're talking too much shit. I don't want to hear that shit all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I'm allowing you to come over to my house. I'm allowing you to be in my fucking space. I'm allowing you to... I'm, like, it's just it's just a lot going on. Like, I'm being a nice-ass friend. And for you to sit there and talk shit about me, that's just wild. So, after a while, like, it just started fizzling out. 
Like what I mean by that is we just stop hanging with each other. We stop talking to each other like that. Like we eventually stop texting each other. We stop Snapchatting each other. We end up adding each other off of everything. Like it was that bad. And then like afterwards, you know, she was just telling me like, like last time, the last year that we was hanging out, because I switched schools. I switched schools in 11th grade. So once I switched schools in 11th grade, that's whenever uh, she stopped coming over to my house. That's whenever we stopped talking completely. Like, I don't have her on nothing. I don't even have her number. I don't have her number. I don't have her on no social medias. I don't have her on no, uh, on nothing. I can't contact her. She can't contact me. I don't even know where she's at. I know where she lives at to this day, but I don't know if she still stays there. You feel me? But, like, if it, the relationship fizzled out, like I said, this started, like, and this started happening, like, around eighth grade. And it wasn't as bad until ninth grade hit. Once ninth grade hit, it was like a once a week type of thing where we would get into this big ass fucking argument. And then once 10th grade hit, we started fizzling out. That's when we blocked each other off of everything and we stopped hanging out. I stopped bringing her around my friends, stuff like that. And that's whenever she started talking about, oh, I can go to college for free. You can't do it. I'm going to be the one to graduate high school. You can't graduate. You're too stupid. Like... She was just trying to pick at me and pick at me and pick at me about a bunch of different shit. And it would just be out of nowhere, out of thin air. Like, imagine you're just chilling with somebody and they just randomly say a statement like that. That's the type of time she was on. So, eventually, like, I just left that bitch alone. You feel me? I just left her alone. And it's sad because we have so many memories together. Like, we've been cool for since kindergarten, bro. And we had so many memories. So, to have a friend that you've been cool with since kindergarten up until, like, 10th grade, that's an accomplishment. Because some people can't even keep friends. You feel me? And we never had fallouts. Like like I said, we was chill as hell. It just started happening because of the fucking jealousy. Like, like I said, we had a lot of shit in common. She was down to do anything. I was down to do anything with her. And it just fizzled out and shit like that. So if you're watching this, I'll still be friends with you. I'll still fuck with you, Lele. But um, you did me dirty. I'm not going to lie. And that shit hurt my feelings. You feel me? Like... A friend that you fucking with for that long and you doing a lot of shit for her and you know you stepping out your comfort zone and, and like I'm respecting you I'm trying to get other people to respect you and for you to turn your back on me for you to talk shit about me for you to make it seem like what is not is just wild to me you feel me so to this day like I said I haven't talked to her last time I talked to her was 10th grade which was 2014 so that's the last time I talked to her. After that, I have not talked to her since. And my people haven't even talked to her. Because like I said, my, my parents and her parents were like this. So for them to fall out with each other, that's crazy too. That was a crazy story. I mean, this is not the most craziest story time. But that was one of my fake friend story times that kind of made me look at, at females differently. And and things differently. And that's like when I had my first real hater. Like, like friend hater. Now, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of haters that were my friends or associates, you know, people I would talk to every so often or just see every so often. Um, I have a couple of those, but I'm not going to do them type of story times because that's probably like five minutes, you know. I, I'm trying to have story times that have a little oomph on my channel and, and that can at least go past five minutes because nobody wants to sit here and, and listen to a two-minute story that's boring and... It's just not worth telling. Sometimes y'all don't need to know every single story time or every single thing that happened in my life. You feel me? But I definitely want to express this for all y'all out there that have friends since kindergarten. I've been friends with people since like kindergarten or that you've been knowing people for about 10, 15 years. That don't mean that their loyalty is unmatched. Just because you've been knowing them or you've been friends with them for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, your whole life, whatever the case may be, since y'all were babies. That does not mean that that friendship is supposed to go longer than what it's supposed to be, okay? Everything has an expiration date, including friendships, situationships, relationships, people, things, food, places, okay? So, I had to realize that, that maybe, like, we just didn't get along like that. We just didn't see eye to eye. Her mental level wasn't on my mental level, you know, and that's what happens sometimes, like, certain things in life can cause this person to go through this type of stuff or to think a certain type of way and it we just fell apart grew apart from each other you know and like i said i still fuck with her to this day like if she wants to hit me up or something i want to hang out i definitely would but she did me fucking dirty she did me dirty so if you guys have any fake friend story times comment down below i'd love to read them make sure you guys like comment subscribe i'm gonna see y'all in the next video